So we're gonna be starting a new series to go through Easel and some of the tips to help you get your projects the best they can possibly be. And Easel has a ton of features inside of it. We're gonna walk through the software side of it and then go to the machine and actually see what that looks like in real life. Now in this video, we're gonna be going over tabs. And all tabs are uncut pieces of material that's gonna keep your part from breaking free and potentially damaging the part or the bit. And this comes into play when you're actually cutting out full parts. So not just engraving, but cutting something completely out. So going all the way through the thickness of the material. In effect, we just did one. We did this guy. And you can actually see when I picked it up, this didn't fall out because you can see we have material that is holding this in. So when we talk about tabs, we're talking about this, 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 and this. And because these tabs were holding this in place, this material didn't pop out, it didn't collide with the bit, it didn't mess anything up. So if you're gonna cut pieces all the way out, you'll need to use tabs or actually adhere the material to your workpiece. And we'll cover that in a future video. Now the tab menu will only show up when you go down to the full depth of cut. So if I select my outline of my part and I go all the way down to half a cut, either I drag this or I can just click it, or I can type it in, you can see that we have our tab menu pop up here at the bottom. Uh, yours might be unchecked, so if it is unchecked, it's gonna look something like this. You can select it, and then here you can actually adjust the properties of the tab. It's gonna give you defaults, and so the default right now is set to a quarter of an inch on the length, and then 0.08 inches on the thickness, which is like a little over a 16th of an inch. Now you can adjust that, and so you can see right here, this is giving you a visual display of what your tabs look like. I'm gonna zoom it in so you can see what's going on. And so if I made my length bigger, let's say we go up to a half an inch, you can see those yellow areas are getting bigger. And those yellow areas are the actual tab. And again, that matches up with the actual tabs on your material. Now the placement of those tabs are auto-generated, but you can actually adjust them yourself. So if you click on the outline, you come over to the material, I'm click and holding, and then you can actually move this around to a different location. So maybe you want a tab actually over here to hold it down right there, and maybe you want another one over here. And then maybe you want another one all the way around up here and maybe right there. So they're completely customizable. You can put them in the places that are gonna work best for your part. I'm gonna switch this back to a quarter of an inch because those are too big. And then not only can you adjust the length and the height, but you can also adjust the quantity. So it's gonna auto give you four, but you can pump this up. And as you do it, you can see it's gonna auto place that as we go. You can do something crazy like 20, and then you have tabs all over the entire piece, but I'm gonna drop this back down to four. Uh, and then let's say I did actually adjust some of these, but I go in and I don't really like what I did. I wanna go back to the beginning. So instead of actually bringing in your part again and letting it refresh the tabs, there is a little refresh right here. So reset any custom place tabs, hit it. It's gonna go all the way back to the defaults. So if you were gonna place the tabs yourself, a few things to keep in mind. It's usually pretty good to keep these on a straight surface, although this pretty much entire thing is curved, uh, but I could drop this right here. And the main reason for that is when you actually go to clean out the tab, if you have a straight edge, it's gonna be a lot easier to sand off or use a chisel to knock out. You really want to avoid the corners for that same reason as well. It's gonna be harder to do that edge. So try to stick with a straight or mostly straight area and then try to avoid the corners. Now if your part is really thin in some areas, it's definitely going to be a section that you're going to want to support. So you want to make sure you've got a tab there as well. And another thing to be careful of is that your material is actually flat and your work bit is flat. Because you can imagine if this was bowed up, you would actually cut through your tab before it got all the way to the bottom of the material, or at least what it thinks is the material, because your material is actually sticking up higher. So I've definitely run into that in the past where I'll pretty much cut all the way through my tab just because I hadn't held my material down in the best way. So be careful of that too. But for the most part, when you're working with smaller pieces like this, that's really not going to be an issue. Now these easel tips are going to be an ongoing series. If you have a question about something inside of Easel, make sure and leave your comments down below and I'll do my best to answer them in a future video. All right, go design, carve, and sell. We'll talk to you next time. See ya.